Let's uh, welcome our first quite fascinating contestant. Will you come <laughs> in, sir? <laughs> Will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Edwin Busby, Commissairman First Class, Bayside, Virginia. This is Mr. Busby, B-U-S-B-E. Yes, Henry. Fell off a boat. <laughs> this is not the fellow who fell off the boat. I read about him, and oh. uh, this is not the fellow who fell off oh, the boat. Henry. No. But That's let us not awful. be too frivolous about Mr. Busby. I would like you and our audience to know that he has recently earned an award which is normally presented at ceremonies at a naval station. Now, when we heard about this award, we asked the Navy if they would like to make the presentation on our program, and they agreed. It is traditional for this award to be presented by an admiral, and we're honored tonight to have with us Rear Admiral Hugh Hainsworth, Commanding Officer, Naval Supply Center, United States Naval Base, Norfolk, Virginia, who is here to make the presentation. Admiral Hainsworth. Very kind of you indeed to stop by for this important ceremony, and I'll ask you now if you will proceed with the ceremony. In the with great pleasure, Gary. Petty Officer Edmund Busby, it is a great honor to present you with this award, which is emblematic of the highest Navy standards of personal achievement. Your exemplary action in overcoming the most formidable challenges conceivable provides a source of pride and inspiration to all Navy men. You are to be commended for the initiative, skill, and dedication which were evident in your attainment of this coveted award. On behalf of the United States Navy, I take pleasure in presenting this trophy for your great contribution to the welfare and morale of the American sailor. Congratulations. Thank well you. Done. Put that pretty thing right down there. Boy, what a beautiful thing. You ought to be very proud, as I'm sure you are. I am, very much. That's a magnificent trophy. Will you tell our audience now what you did to earn it? Well, that's my secret, Gary. Oh, that's your secret. All right, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it to the folks at home. Panel, it concerns something that Mr. Busby did, and we'll start the questioning with Bill, please. Mr. Busby, the thing you did, was it the kind of a thing that normally a man in, uh, that holds your rank in the Navy might do? Mm. I, think the, I, think the, I think the normal fellow of his rank mm. might not accomplish this. Would it more normally, and excuse the question, is just because of, I know the way the, the tenor of the show takes, would it more normally, sir, be done by a lady? Not especially, no. Did it have anything to do with your commissary job, food, uh, as it were? Yes. Have to do with... $20 down and $60 to go, and we go to Miss Betsy. Better explain, Gary, why Bill knows that it's commissary. <laughs> Bill, why do you know it's commissary? Because at the beginning of the show, he identified himself as a uh, petty officer in a commissary department. Didn't you? Please say you did, because the way things are now... <laughs> First Henry is that Bill was listening and you weren't. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's the nicest answer I ever heard. <laughs> well, all right, now he, he identified himself as such. Now, Betsy. Um, is this something, some improvement that you made on food so that, um, that it would be to the betterment of your fellow sailors? Mm, yes. Um, it, is it something that helps them, that no, ordinary, is it something to keep them from getting seasick or to eat while they are seasick? Mm, no, while you're seasick. It has nothing to do with mal de mer. Forty dollars down, forty dollars to go now, Henry. Oh no, uh, I, I was just going to explain that. You know, there was a story about a man who fell overboard uh, uh, in San Diego. On, yes, it was in Time magazine. I miss, I miss, oh, yeah, sorry. All right, I know. I'm just nice. But sorry, I'll go ahead and wait. No, sixty dollars down and twenty dollars to go, and we go to Best Myers. Yes. <laughs> and what I was going to say was. <laughs> You may, if you like. Let me see. Uh, Ed, may I call you Ed? Did it have anything to do with cooking or preparing the food? Yes. It did, an actual cooking of it. Um, did you create some special diet? No. Uh, is it the amount of time you spent cooking it? No. What you cooked? Mm, yes. Yes? Uh, was it in a specific department? Meat or vegetable, something mm, like that? Yes. 
Thank you. All right, panel, we have blown Turkey. it. Now, mind you, this is a serious award. It is made annually, and I would like to have... I'd like to read it to you. It says here, Operation Bean Soup for concocting the best bean soup in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> Mr. Busby holds a cook's rating. He submitted his recipe, and he won the annual competition that was open to all enlisted men and officers in the Navy stationed all over the world. It's an important event. As you saw, the award is traditionally presented by an admiral. Now, incidentally, anybody who wants the recipe, get your pad and pencil, because we're about to have a go at it. Good. Uh, Mr. We asked Mr. Busby to cook up some of his soup for you, panel, oh. since we knew you wanted to taste this delightful Epicurean creation. So will you open the curtains, please? Now, Mr. Busby, if you'll serve the soup to the panel, I'll ask that the recipe be flown in. There you go. You go serve the soup. And here comes the recipe. Can we write that down? You just go ahead and ignore it. I'll talk to the ladies out here. First, you soak two cups or one pound of navy beans in water overnight, enough water to cover the beans. Next morning, you drain and put the beans in three quarts of water. Add one and a half pounds of ham, the butt end, a half a teaspoon of celery salt, one eighth teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of monosodium glutamate, and cook approximately two and a half hours or until the beans are tender. Then remove the ham and grind it. Add one medium minced onion to the soup, cook, cook approximately one half hour longer or until the soup begins to thicken. Then put the ground ham back into the soup and serve immediately, garnishing it with dried parsley leaves and Parmesan cheese croutons. This serves six people. Panel, how's it taste? Excellent. It's excellent. No, no joke. I want you to know that this young man has been here all day cooking that soup for you. And I actually mean it. Mr. Busby, congratulations. Your Winston you and your money are waiting for you off stage, but certainly we want you to have your... Special citation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.